Okay, this Playa del Carmen trip is starting in a big way with the first stop being Rio Palace, Mexico. This isn't just a Rio, but a Rio Palace, the most elegant category within the Rio hotel chain. Plus, this is Rio Palace, Mexico. This hotel bears the name of the country. When it was originally built, it was considered the Kingpin Rio property, not just in Playa del Carmen, but throughout the entire country of Mexico. This hotel is actually really special. It's the recipient of the coveted and exclusive AAA Four Diamond Award, which for a Ryu is a really big deal. Plus, Ryu Palace Mexico is situated in the ultra-exclusive Playa Car area of Playa del Carmen. Located about a mile south of the city, Playa Car is an upscale gated community known for having some of the best hotels, beaches, and vibes in the area. Rio Palace Mexico was built in 1999. It was last renovated in 2012. It has 400 rooms, five restaurants, four pools, and 24 hour room service. Rio Palace Mexico. I was originally scheduled to be over at Rio Yucatan, which is right next door, but at last minute I decided to switch and come over here, and I'm really glad I did. Rio Palace Mexico is so much nicer. Uh, when I entered the lobby, I thought it was pretty beautiful considering it's a Ryu. I was met with a refreshing welcome drink, which is always a sign of class. I swiftly made it to my room, and given the age of this hotel, as well as its price, I thought the room was pretty decent. It really has three major standouts. Number one, the Miami Vice-themed bathroom, complete with a jetted tub, funky dual vanity, and step-in rainhead shower. The second main feature is the sunken living room, uh, complete with an outdoor patio. All of this is great for extra space and the chance to enjoy this awesome weather whenever you want. And thirdly, the main attraction, the star attraction of any Ryu property is always gonna be the liquor cabinet. It's the Four Horsemen, vodka, gin, tequila, rum, as much as you want, whenever you want. And to make matters even better, the mini bar below it is one of the best stocked ones I've ever seen at any all-inclusive. So I was pretty delirious when I landed here last night. I had a long day of travel. I just decided to chill out and order room service. I knew what I was getting in for, ordering room service at Ryu. I just didn't know it'd be that dreadful. You've been warned. All right, it's my first full day here. I want to start it out in the best way possible. There are rumors of an adult-only pool here. Now I'm going to go find it. So that was a disappointment. I guess for a regular hotel, it'd be an average pool experience, but this is a Ryu, and for a Ryu, it's boring. Now you might hear me say for a Ryu throughout this video, and that's because Ryu hotels are really in their own category. They're in their own world. They do things so differently. They put a huge emphasis on fun and experience. Maybe I've been spoiled by my previous Ryu hotel stays, but this pool just wasn't fun. Small, bland, boring, and the vibe and energy were non-existent. So yeah, I definitely think I was spoiled by my previous Ryu pool experiences. I guess not all Ryus have incredible pool setups. The best part of my day was actually the drinks. I had a poolside Coco Loco that was beyond loco. It was insane. I'm not sure it's legal or ethical to put that much alcohol in a drink and serve it to somebody. Just one of those made me so relaxed and chill, I felt like I took something from my pharmacist's secret stash. There was also a traditional bar on the flip side of the adult pool, which was a nice place to take a break from the sun. The bartenders were really fun and cool. They made me a Bob Marley that was as legendary as the man himself. So it wasn't the best day overall at the adults only pool, but the good news is there are other pools on site and I do plan on checking them out later. Plus today still has upside because tonight I'm headed to the number one restaurant on site, Crystal. Smash it up. share a funny moment with you. This has never happened to me before at an all-inclusive. As I enter Cristal, there is no hostess or host person, and usually that means they are seating someone else and they'll be back in a moment. 
but I waited and waited and waited and nobody approached me. It was like 7 p.m. and as you can see, people are already seated and eating, so there's definitely somebody there to help me. But this is Ryu's nicest restaurant. It's very intimate and there really isn't a lobby area. So everybody who is there couldn't help but notice and watch me stand right in front of them, almost on top of them, like a lost puppy just waiting for someone to help me. I think about five minutes passed and it felt like eternity. And ultimately I think it was even more awkward for the guest than it was for me. Finally, the right person approached me and he was outside the entire time. I guess he was confused because I was alone. Understandable, maybe unprofessional, absolutely, but I really didn't care. I'm just hungry, so let's roll. He proceeds to take me to the castaway section, a separate dining area away from the main room with nobody else around, even though there was ample space in the main room. Now everybody is staring at me again and they get to do so for the entire dinner. I am in front of them, though elevated, alone, and isolated in a section all by myself. So very quickly, Cristal is a culinary fusion restaurant. It is known throughout the Ryu ecosystem to have the most gourmet dishes in the most upscale dining setting. Cristal's design was definitely unique. I would say it's classically modern, lots of artwork, glass, and the color teal. It's a little Miami and a little Scarface. So it's day number two, and I'm headed down to the beach. Of the Ryu hotels on the channel thus far, all have had great beaches, and this one was good as well. Um, I've been to 26 all-inclusives in the last 14 months, so my beach standards are definitely pretty high. Uh, the water was warm, it was gentle, it was beautiful. The actual stretch of beach itself was huge. It was wide, it was long. It went on as far as the eye could see. And that's important because I haven't mentioned this yet. There are six Ryu's in this entire complex. When you go to these all-inclusives, sometimes finding a spot on the beach can be difficult. I think it's probably easier to find a nugget of gold. Sometimes things turn nasty and competitive, like two people fighting over the last TV on a Black Friday sale. All six of these hotels were sold out this weekend and never once did the beach feel crowded. There was ample seating, whether it was underneath the shady palm trees, directly on the beach under the sun, or even relaxing in a comfy hammock. So anyway, no dinner tonight, and that's because I'm off to the infamous white party at Rio Tequila. Whatever that was last night was better than the majority of clubs in Las Vegas and Miami. As I was walking in, I saw a bunch of people walking out and I couldn't help but think, is it over? Did I miss it? Was it lame? Oh no, they were lame. This party was unbelievably and insanely awesome. The venue was larger than a football field and it was overflowing with people, energy, and fun. In fact, there was so much action that people were partying at the overflow bar. Even though it was a crazy, electric, outrageous party, it wasn't unhinged. It had an overtone of class and it wasn't overcrowded. Next time I visit Playa del Carmen, I am absolutely staying at Ryu Tequila. So after last night, I need to relax and recuperate. And I think the pool is the perfect place to do that. Uh, there are some other pools here on site that I haven't checked out yet. And I think now is the time to do it. Yeah, today is definitely a pool day. I woke up with my head feeling like it was in a paint mixer all night. 
The weather up until this point has been bipolar and right now it's perfect. So I don't want to get anything that's too intensive for breakfast. Uh, Gold Lounge is open 24 hours a day and it's the perfect place for a quick bite or drink. Really, it's just a fashionable airport lounge with cafeteria quality food, but it's always open and a guaranteed spot to get something to eat or drink literally at any time of day or night. To me, that's priceless and exactly why I love it. Do you want to know another thing I love about this hotel? Just walking through the property. It's just simply gorgeous. No matter your destination, the beach, the restaurants, the pool, you must pass through the lush tropical landscapes and grand courtyard no matter where you're going. The courtyard location is perfect. It's right outside the main lobby and surrounded by all the restaurants in one central area. It's the hotbed of the hotel and it's where you will find all the activities, events, and shows. The journey to the beach and pool area is even better. I think it's kind of unforgettable. This large tropical sanctum will make you feel like royalty as you stroll through it. It has impeccably maintained landscapes, breathtaking decorative pools, and towering palm trees. It's sophisticated and stylish, at the same time soothing and tranquil. For me, when I walk through it, I get feelings of peace, happiness, and inspiration. The pool setup here is as straightforward as it gets. There's an activity pool, a kids pool, a lap pool, and then of course the adults only pool from the other day. For a regular hotel, this pool setup would be average, but this is a Ryu, which usually has fantastic pool experiences. I found the pools here to be bland, boring, uncreative, and disappointing. So I'm gonna pivot and find something else to do this afternoon. Playa Car Mall is right down the street, and I think I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, for the record, when I visit these hotels, I'm not expecting an outrageous pool scene. The pools don't need to have the ultimate in luxury, design, or beauty. And to have an awesome pool day, I don't need a cool DJ, a sexy party crowd, electric energy, and major party vibes. Quiet, relaxing, tranquil days at the pool are just as wonderful to me, and in fact, these days, I prefer them. But for a Ryu, and a Ryu palace at that, I was hoping for the pools to deliver at least a little bit of something. But on a positive note, now I can show you Playa Car Mall. It's a quaint shopping mall, steps away from Ryu Palace, Mexico. It has a little bit of everything. There are street vendors offering local crafts and goods, there's retail shopping, and a gigantic market that has everything you could need. Water, alcohol, snacks, souvenirs, sunblock, swimwear, and so much more. The mall also has some bars, restaurants, there's some street food, there's a pharmacy, a spa, a barber shop, a 7-Eleven, and even a Starbucks. I came over here a few times during my stay, and if you forgot something at home, or if you need to restock supplies, get a haircut, or if you simply just need a fresh change of pace from your all-inclusive, Playa Car Mall is a game changer. Okay, I stand corrected. Cristal is not the best restaurant at Ryu Palace, Mexico. Usually Cristal is the marquee restaurant at every Ryu Palace, but at this location, Le Dolce Vida wears the crown. They describe it as intimate, but that would be like calling Mike Tyson a decent boxer, an extreme understatement. This place was microscopic and those with claustrophobia, beware. But amazing things come in small packages and Le Dolce Vida compared to Cristal, had the supreme menu, food quality, and service. Since it was Saturday night, I wanted to explore the nightlife after dinner. The grand courtyard was radiant. People were gathered and enjoying after dinner drinks, listening to live music, 
and just sitting and enjoying the serene, comfortable, and special setting of Playa del Carmen at night. For 9 p.m. on a Saturday night, which is peak prime time at an all-inclusive hotel, the vibe was surprisingly quiet. Either the entertainment show ended or there just wasn't one, and the venues were empty. I found that to be quite odd, but then just assumed everybody was upstairs at Bar Cubano, the main bar right off the lobby. Bar Cubano has a super unique and rare double-decker setup and has wild, bold, ostentatious, in-your-face luxury decor. It directly overlooks the courtyard and has views that extend all the way to the ocean. The only thing is, it was quiet too. Dead, actually, when you consider that this is the main spot at the most popular Ryu in Playa del Carmen. It just didn't make any sense. This bar has everything. Views, style, location, coolness... Judging by its grand layout and ample seating, sometimes, or maybe back in time, this was the spot to be at. But not tonight. On this Saturday night, around 9 or 10 p.m., I've seen busier libraries. Since Ryu guests have access to all six properties, I suspect that at night, people are attracted to the newer and trendier Ryu hotels. All right, let's wrap up this video. What do I think of Rio Palace, Mexico? One of the most popular hotels in this entire area. Uh, let's start out with three negatives and three positives. Firstly, the pools. I already talked about why I did not like them. Another negative about this property is the food. Now, you always need to lower your standards when you go to any all-inclusive, and you need to lower them even further for a Ryu. And then lastly, I just found this property to be a little lackluster, especially for a Ryu Palace. It just doesn't really have any spirit, any soul, any energy. This is absolutely a family hotel and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that everything from the pools to the food to the experience is really subdued. But all is not wrong in the world with Ryu Palace, Mexico. There are some redeemable qualities. One major benefit of staying here at Ryu Palace, Mexico is its location. Uh, not only do you get the privacy and the seclusion and safety of staying in Playa Car, but you also have five other Ryu properties that you can explore if you want to expand your horizons. Also, this property is beautiful. It's gorgeous. And again, this isn't the newest Ryu property, but it is still stunning, especially the grounds. And lastly, most importantly, value. Uh, it's increasingly hard to find good values on vacation, especially in major areas of Mexico like Playa del Carmen. Um, I think you get a lot for your money here at Ryu Palace, Mexico. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Ryu Palace, Mexico a 2.5. It's no longer the best Ryu hotel in Playa del Carmen, but I can see why it still is the most popular. It does have a lot of good things going for it. Maybe I'm just jaded by my previous Ryu experiences. All I know is that this one seems a little lackluster.